Yes, my people, welcome back to another episode of Where's My Podcast. And today, we're joined by another special guest. We're joined by my guy, Jay Monroe, the founder of Your Last Lesson. Thank you, bro. Hey, Thanks for having me on. Thanks for having me on. You made it happen, man. Quick things, man. Isn't it? Obviously, Jay, you're a fan of the um, platform. Yep. So thank you so much for that. So you know how the episode goes. Yeah, exactly. So obviously, naturally, every episode I start by saying why you, the guest, are in the chair. Yep. And your story is kind of an interesting one because I remember I feel like it was maybe early 2023, yeah. maybe even late 2022. Yeah. I clocked that you followed us on TikTok. Yeah, yeah. Like, we ain't got a big following on TikTok or nothing. Yeah, yeah. So everyone that follows us, I'll go check them out. I'll be like, oh, yeah, what yeah, this yeah. is. So I clicked your thing. I see, um, obviously, certain numbers and that. Yeah, like, yeah. Interesting. Then I started going through, seeing what you do. I'm seeing this guy's fly. Then I clocked your model. So I remember following back and like yeah. maybe even going on Instagram and follow you as well. Because I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah like, a cool guy. Yeah, yeah, and I yeah. remember saying to myself, we haven't had an episode of like a model before. And I yeah. could tell that this guy, all his tats and that, I feel like he's lived a life. Yeah, I want to yeah, hear yeah, his story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So at first it was just cool. Let's get a medal in the pod. If I want one, I'm going to Jay first. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so then all of a sudden man's following you in that and I'm just clocking you wearing certain garments. I'm like, yo, yeah. I ain't seen this brand before. Yeah, I'm yeah, seeing yeah. like Grim Reaper and that. I'm seeing some shorts, I'm seeing hoodies. I'm like, Broski, what is this? And then I finally clocked, it was There's your brand. brand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, say no more. When the time is right, me and Jay are gonna have a yeah, conversation yeah, yeah. about the brand. Cause, so, and I'm happy I mentioned that because often, more time when I get people on the podcast is because I'm a massive fan of their personal brand as well. Yep. in relation to their fashion brand. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. less so that I see the clothes before I kind of see the person Yeah, yeah, yeah. and decide to get them on a the podcast. Sick. So with you, it was like, obviously I spoke about the model and stuff before, yeah, 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 yeah. but like the garms really attracted me. Yeah, they yeah, really yeah. appealed to me. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, Sick. this brand's making wavy stuff. Mm -hmm. I need to get this guy on the podcast and ask him, yo, how he's done it, what he's planning to do. Yeah. And yeah, just learn more about him, bro. Sick. So yeah, man. Thanks for coming on. Yeah. Appreciate Hope your head's it, not too big after that, though. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Obviously, I appreciate it. And like like I said, obviously, I just, I try and like, anything to do with fashion in the UK, I'm trying to be tapped in, you know what I mean? And obviously, I've actually been looking, I was trying to find podcasts, fashion mm. podcasts, even American, whatever. And then obviously, I come across you guys and I was nice. like, this is sick. And then obviously, I looked and obviously, I was looking through, and everything was just like pretty organic. Mm. And it was like a lot of low key like brands and stuff like that. And I was like, this is sick. I was like, I need I need to keep watching this. And then obviously when I, I followed you back and that, and then we started chatting, yeah. I was like, yeah, definitely. I need to get on it. And then 100%. this is me and Jay was just laughing about this off camera. So Jay messaged me happy birthday. Yeah. And, <laughs> and that was the first, that was actually the first time we'd ever yeah. spoke. So I'm like, love bro, I need you on the podcast yeah. bro. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a thing that you need bro, to, that's you need to start saying happy birthday. That's what I'm saying. If you're going to take one key from this episode, say happy birthday to people. You don't yeah. know what to come from it. So obviously, Jay, we'll get to the bulk of the conversation. Yeah. Let's go. My first question is always the same. Where are you from? What's your background like? Yeah, take so, it away. Um, I'm from Scotland, obviously. As you can tell by the accent. <laughs> <laughs> um, I grew up in Glasgow. Um, I've lived kind of all over the place, to be fair. I've, I've lived in Australia, America. Um, obviously, I live in Manchester now. I've been there for like five years. Um, and yeah, obviously I do modeling. Um, kind of done that for about maybe six, seven years now. Mm -hmm. um, that and like the whole influence and sort of thing. Um, and then yeah, it's just kind of snowballed from there. Obviously I've always been into my fashion. Um, I've always been quite out there with my garments as well. Do you know mm. what I mean? I've always, always kind of wore kind of out there stuff. And then I've just, I've always said to myself like, oh, this is what I want to like, I want to have my own brand. Do you know what I mean? Well, that, that, for, for, for how long have you been telling yourself that? Oh, for, since I was a, a little kid, do you know what I mean? I've mm. always just said, I, I want to have my own clothing brand, do you know what I mean? That would be the goal. Mm. But it needs to be the right time. Like, I would, I, first of all, you need a lot of money to start, do you know what I mean? Like, you, you don't, in some ways, like, you could mm. you could do a brand and, like, but I wanted it to be, when I was coming out, I wanted it to, to be to a certain level, do you know what I mean? Mm. Um, so I've always kind of had it in the back of my head, like, all right, I need to do this, I need to do this. And that is kind of, to be honest, one of the reasons why I called it Last Lesson. Mm. Um, because, so basically, Long story short, so um, I broke my arm like two years ago mm -hmm. and it was like a really bad arm break. Um, and like basically I lost nerve in my wrist. Like the nerves wasn't working. And they actually told me that you're not going to be able to move your wrist again. Fuck, so was, was it in your right hand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like my, it was like this. Like I, could, I could, couldn't lift my wrist for like mm. six months, something like that. But like between that time, I didn't, obviously I, could, I couldn't go gym, couldn't do nothing. Um, Obviously, couldn't model, do you know what I mean? Because 
my arm was fucked. Mm. Um, and basically, for six it, months? It, yeah, it was longer than that. It, it, my wrist started moving after like six months. Okay. But so for like the first, I don't know, four or five months, like they were saying, we don't know if it mm. could come back. Like they was basically just saying, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, right, fucking hell. I was like, obviously I'd went from working like all the time to not mm. being able to do nothing. I was basically just stuck in my bed and I was like, right, this is the time. I need, I need to just do my brand, you know what I mean? Mm. And it, it kind of made me like be ultra focused. And obviously that's that's why I called it last lesson. Cause I was like, right, this is like your last mm. lesson and, and to do it, do you know what I mean? And obviously I'm so glad I did. Cause it, it went crazy. Yeah. Yeah, Cause had, had you not got your wrist back, yeah, that's what I mean. You wouldn't I, be able to graphic design or nothing. That's what I mean. Yeah. You know. So obviously, but obviously as well. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I draw a lot of the stuff as well. Do you mm. know what I mean? Obviously, as you can see, I do a lot of the painting shit like that. I couldn't, I couldn't do any of that. But I was like getting stuff on my phone. Obviously, I was doing shit with my left hand. But I was. Mm, it's not the same. <laughs> it's not the same. <laughs> do you know what I mean? But yeah, that that was that was the reason why I called it last session. Just because obviously I'd been stuck so long wanting to do it and then mm. it took and something it took, it took something tra- yeah it took something to happen to because i was so comfortable like i just knew that i was working all the time i was getting this and mm. every month blah blah do you know what i mean and i was i was comfortable and then it took me to like be like right i need to do this and, now yeah. do you know what i mean and i, I feel like it was kind of like a like a sign like mm. like do this now do you know what happened I mean? for a reason yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't it? you know what jay we'll, we'll park that off and then i'll pick up the conversation back yeah, yeah. there yeah but going back to you, obviously being Scottish from Glasgow. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, I've um, had another Scottish person on the podcast before. Okay. Like I Eve's founder of a brand called Saint Mind, Big Em Up, and obviously we spoke about what the Glasgow fashion scene is like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> when you were growing up, <laughs> yeah, what was it like? And was you, would you say you were part of it? Um, pff, bro, I'll be honest. There wasn't. There was a lot of resellers. To be fair, a lot yeah. of people that are doing like, and I'm actually good mates with a lot of them now. Um, the brand's actually stocked into two shops that mm. like kind of have um, resale sort of stuff. Um, As uh, in in Scotland, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Um, so they, they have like, they'll take some so, some stuff before. Um, but yeah, there's, there's not too much of a fashion scene in Scotland. Mm. There is now, it's a lot bigger now. But back then, uh, growing up, there wasn't, there wasn't much. Like, uh, I would say like, I was pretty out there. And like, a lot of people be like, what the fuck are you wearing? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. like, do you know what I mean? Because back then, like, I don't know, it was more just like night track suits and mm. shit like that. A lot of people was wearing so like when I obviously I was stepping out in like like different garments. Yeah, what, like, what yeah. were you wearing that people thought was so out there? Like so obviously like back in the day I'd be wearing like a lot of Supreme Bape, like shit like that. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And that that was before it was like people really knew what it was in, in Scotland, do you know what I mean? And people were like, what the fuck's this? Mm. But uh, then obviously it started getting big and yeah, pe- now, now to be fair, there's there's quite a big scene in Scotland. So pe- people are fucking with. How did you how did you know about them brands, and why do you feel like you gravitated towards them? Um, to be honest, I've just always been into like, so I skated when I was younger as well. Okay, so obviously sk- skating, Skate but supreme and shit like that. Do you know what I mean? Even back then, like I used to wear like, I don't know, like just watching rappers as well. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like I don't know, like Chris Brown and shit like that. Do you know what I mean? And people that like like ASAP Rocky, shit like that, do you know what I mean? Everyone was influenced by them. So mm-hmm. when they're when they rocking about in Supreme Tees, you're like, what, what's this, do you know what I mean? I need to check it. And then, yeah, I, I obviously told you this off camera, but my first ever post on Instagram was the Supreme Sweet. Store um, in like 2013 or something like that. And yeah, so I've just always been kind of tapped in, like the whole hype beast sort of culture mm-hmm. since I was young. And then, yeah, just kind of naturally progressed into like kind of into the more mm-hmm. streetwear brands and Shit like that, yeah. Do you know what I find interesting about that, Jay? Like, obviously, it's one thing being interested in the fashion, yeah. but considering you were in the space where it was like not many other people were as interested in that type of fashion as you, yeah, yeah, yeah. and people weren't necessarily because obviously there was Scottish brands. Don't get me wrong, yeah, but people weren't making the type of brands that you wanted. I'm surprised that even at that point you kind of knew that you wanted your own brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've, li- literally since I've been so young, I've always wanted my own brand. Mm. And I've always just thought like, it would be, because a lot of the time, like when I, when I was obviously younger, looking in like Selfridges or whatever, I'd be looking, I'd be thinking, I wish this tea had this. Mm-hmm. Or like, I wish this was different on this tea, do you know what I mean? And I used to think to myself like, why, why, is, why is the fit of that like that? Mm. Do you know what I mean? And I used to think, I, I wish I could, make something and just make these like trousers or make this t-shirt and then obviously eventually you got there yeah got there because, because you broke your wrist yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> no, to, to be fair i would have always done it anyway yeah. like it was something i would have definitely just always done on. but that was like i feel like that pushed me to do it like it was mm. to be fair like i always say since like i don't know maybe three years ago i've always been doing designs anyway so i had designs there even like mm. so when i did break my wrist i had designs already set mm. but i just didn't have a name 
so I had like certain logos and stuff like that that I wanted to use. Mm. And then obviously I, I, I've always just, so it was something that was in the back burner, but it just kind of pushed me to do it. Do you know what I mean? So you know how you mentioned that, um, obviously you would see stuff and be like, yeah, that's, add that. Da, 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 yeah, da. yeah. Why do you think you were like that? I find that stuff so fascinating. Yeah, I don't Often, know. It's when crazy. I ask people stuff, yeah. they can kind of say, oh, maybe because my mum used to do this or my mum had a, um, was a seamstress or, yeah. but with you, you can't think of nothing. Nah, like obviously, to be honest, when I was younger, like my mum, to be fair, she did used to dress me in like some wavy clothes. Like, yeah. Yeah, like diff different clothes to like what normal people would be wearing. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, and I was, I remember when I went to school, like, I had like this big diesel parker and like everyone was just like wearing like, just like normal blazers and shit. Mm -mm. And I had this big like cream diesel parker. <laughs> and every, every, everyone in my school would be like, what the fuck are you wearing? Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I've just kind of always had like a bit of a different style to, mm. to be fair. And yeah, I don't know, to be honest. I feel like, I've just always kind of had a bit of a creative, uh, creative yeah, mind. Like, yeah. I, I, I wouldn't say I'm like mathematically that smart, but I've always had like a bit of a creative mind. So I feel like mm. that's just kind of pushed me into doing certain things. So obviously we're still talking about younger Jay, when yep. you knew you wanted to make a brand in that. Was that anything that, was that something that seemed feasible to you? Like you could have it like right now type vibes. And if so, did you almost like, Think about how you can kind of pivot towards that. Like, oh, can I study fashion somewhere, or can oh. I do graphic design somewhere? Do you know what I mean? So when I when I f obviously when I was in school, I was good at football. I played I played football. Um, so that was kind of my goal. What position? Winger. It was, it was rapid. What what foot are you? Right. Okay. Yeah. So obviously, so maybe like some from like thirteen to like sixteen, like that was the goal. Wanted to be a footballer. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And then. I ended up being full time. I was full time for like three years. Um, but then even when I was full time, that's when I started kind of getting into the modeling. Mm -hmm. So like, but full time in Scotland, you're, you're not getting good money. Do you know what I mean? So like, I was on maybe like fucking a few hundred quid a week. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Full time, but like younger, was still all right. Um, but then obviously I started getting booked in modeling jobs. I remember when I first got asked, like, it was just through Instagram, like this agency mm -hmm. hit me up and it was like, do you want to come in for a casting? I was like, <sighs> Like, I don't know, like, do you know what I mean? Like, and back then as well in Scotland, like, people would like, they would get on to you for shit like that, do you know what I mean? Mm. And then I just thought, fuck this. I was like, yeah, yeah, why not? Do you know what I mean? So I went in and I remember, <laughs> it was so funny, so obviously I was tiny back then. I'm not even tall now, but I was mm. tiny back then. And uh, I remember I went in and like, the agency was like, oh yeah, you've got a sick look, but like, I don't know, the height could be like a bit, a bit of a thing. And they fought my dad, right? They fought my dad and he was like, to my dad, he was like, uh, what what height are you? My dad was that, yes, yeah, six two. I think. He was, he was like, when when did you get when did you get your height height growth? And he was like, yeah, probably about nineteen twenty or something like that, right? And obviously, chai shit. He's, my dad's like smaller than me, and obviously, I ended, I ended up seeing him and like like doing well from it. But yeah, quite, hey, that is too funny. funny. How did your dad know to do that? I don't, I don't even know. To this day, I still <laughs> laugh at that. To be honest, that's what he says to me all the time. I still laugh at it. It's well funny. Um, but yeah, so obviously. Um, Started doing the modeling and stuff like that, and obviously doing working with brands and that. I think this is this is something that I could proper do. And I started making a lot more money from that than I was with the football, and I realised I was probably better at that than I was. Yeah. At. What What was that? This is obviously not fashion related, but yeah. what was that realisation like? Because that was your dream, no? Yeah. Yeah. No. Of course it was, but it was like it was one of them. It was just like you you can see the two pathways, and it was just like I can see that I'm definitely more fitted to do this, mm -hmm. and as well like obviously completely into fashion as well. I was like, I, I don't need to train nonstop every day. And mm. to be fair, with the football, it's like up and down. You don't know, like some, some weeks you're playing, some weeks you're mm. on the bench, do you know what I mean? It's like, obviously getting shit money. I was just like, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try and do this. And then obviously went went down that route. And then, like I said, obviously working with these brands, I was like, always thought in my head, I was like, I need to make my own brand. Cause mm. I was seeing like what these were doing. Like, do you know what I mean? Going on trips away. Like doing stuff like that, I was like, "This is crazy!" Like, I need, I, I want to do it myself. And then, yeah, eventually, just thought, "Now's the time." Mm -hmm. And and how long did you do the modeling for then? And obviously, you still do it now. Oh, um, I probably still like went full time probably when I was like twenty. Okay, full time modeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I when I was like about twenty. So probably. they're like flying you on shoots and all these different places and what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it was to be fair, like I, I had a really good like yeah. really good time with it. Do you know what I mean? It's it's been blessed to be honest to, to be able to and do some of the shit that I've done through being a model like do you actually learn about fashion though because from the outside looking in it obviously looks like yeah they just they just put you in clothes you take pictures yeah. and onto the next one type vibes no that yeah of course like it, it depends on it obviously you're shooting for all, all different types of brands mm -hmm. so there may be some brands you quote unquote 
it's not your style. You 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 wouldn't wear that like yourself, but obviously it's the job that's what you need to do. Mm. But you can take like things from it, like all right, well maybe these fit quite well. I like this color, like mm. do you know what I mean, like pantones and the color of the tees and shit like that. So yeah, stuff like that you can take. But yeah, it it obviously definitely helps because you're around clothes all the time. Yeah, you're seeing different designs. You're, you, and you're, are you meet? Are you ever meeting? Yeah, you're obviously meeting. Like obviously when I when I done my brand like the first model that I used, well, all the models that I've used is all people that I've met through doing shoots, do you know what I mean? That I'm mates mm. with and they always say, sort me out, do you know what I mean? So, like, it's stuff like that helps, of course. Yeah. So, um, you know how you said you had, like, three years worth of designs and whatnot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When did you know you could design? Um, well, to be honest, I've, al I've always been, like, stylish, do you know what I mean? I've always, on my Instagram, wanted to be posting in the best fits and stuff like mm. that, do you know what I mean? So it's always been something that's been on my mind, but then when I actually thought about it like it was like obviously started making all right money and modern i was like it's not gonna last forever do you know what i mean mm. like you obviously obviously you know that's got it's obviously you've got an expiry date on that do you know what i mean so i was like what i want to do is the brand mm. eventually so i was like obviously just then just looking at stuff and like putting stuff away in the back burner that i'll be like right well i could do this um like this design whatever mm. but did you have like a date where you was like you know what i'm gonna launch the brand here oh, nah, nah. by this year I need to have the brand out it was just nah, 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 nah. it was more just I was like like planting seeds in my own head and like mm. just like looking at certain things and like probably about a year of just learning like in and thinking what way would I want to go into it do you know what I mean and obviously mm. studying other brands as well studying what I liked and studying what I think would be the best fit for what I'm going to come out with mm. and then yeah obviously like I said with the arm thing that just kind of pushed me into doing it quicker but it was mm. something that was definitely I was going to do that's so interesting Jay because even though we've only probably been speaking about speaking for like 10 minutes yeah. I can already see why your brand is the quote unquote way it is and yeah. the reason I say that is because one of the things that stood out to me and I kind of said this to you off camera was that like I feel as though your brand's grown fairly quick yeah, and when yeah, I was yeah. like doing my research and just kind of thinking about what this conversation was going to be like when I was at home I was like when Jay launched, from the minute he launched, it's like everything seemed so cohesive. Like it didn't yeah, feel yeah, like yeah, a yeah. new brand. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, now yeah. from everything you've described, I can kind of see, cause you said you were focusing on this brand. You was researching that. Yeah. So it's like, you were ready. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like even like down to like the shoot, like the first um, campaign I done, like obviously I've done loads of campaigns myself. So I was like, I know what I want it to look like. Do you know what I mean? And like, I feel like if, you, if I hadn't done that and like you just a startup, like, you would be half clueless, like yeah. with getting like certain shots that you want to get. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like that it's definitely helped. And like I said, obviously, with studying it for so long, like when when I've come out with the stuff, like like I told you with that um, pink hoodie, like you said that was one of your favorite designs that you've you've seen from me. Like like I said, that was one of the first things that I'd even designed, and I've only mm -hmm. just released it now. So there's still stuff that I had designed like previous that I've not even released yet. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? So like there's, there's like I've got I've got literally like a lot a lot of stuff there just ready to hey, go have you got you them on me? your phone yeah yeah i'll show you oh, yeah, oh, yeah 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 i'll show you yeah, yeah i'll show you stuff I've, I've just actually put in all the stuff for summer as well mm. so all, all the summer stuff's coming like yeah. in like next month what type of um brands or designers were you looking at at that point when you were doing all your research and stuff? so to be honest like i really like a lot of the american brands mm. like a lot of the american streetwear brands i feel like are killing it right now like um bad son veil state hellstar um, have you seen one GV gallery? I've never heard of it. The, 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 Wait, the, GV gallery? GV gallery. Well, to be fair, they go on off two names. They, they either have Raspberry on their right. stuff or else GV gallery, but yeah, they, they're called. Um, like a lot of them sort of brands like Vertebrae. Mm. Um, like, see, to be fair, like, some of the like, UK rappers are wearing them as well. Like Central Seas, he's been wearing a lot of them brands mm. as well. Um, but yeah, I feel like a lot, I, I'm more tapped in on that side, to be honest. Yeah. Um, I just feel like it fits more my style but I feel like as well that I feel like America's sometimes a bit ahead as well mm -hmm. so like I'd say this like, obviously a good few years ago now but like when the baggy jeans started like coming in like obviously I, I started wearing baggy jeans and then all my mates was like, like what are you doing clowning yeah and he was oh, like, he was like why, are you wearing, why are you wearing them Ric Flair's and that do you know what I mean <laughs> everybody's trying to clown you and then mm. and then obviously now that's that's, that's the fashion yeah. do you know what I mean but I feel like it's the same with like see, so even the stuff that I'm making now I feel like it's maybe not quote unquote fully in like what's um how would I say it like trending right now in the yeah. UK, but I feel like it definitely will be in say like six months Makes or a year. Sense. Do you know what I mean? That's 30. 
Mm-hmm. And do you know what, Jay? Considering obviously you're from Scotland, but yeah. you look to more of the American brands and whatnot. Yeah. And the perception I have on Scotland right now is, of course, there's people that dress like you, but the majority yeah. of people don't wear the clothes you wear. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. so when you were starting the brand, you say to yourself, look, I'm not targeting people here. I'm targeting people in LA. I'm targeting people in London. I'm, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So, to be fair, I just thought I'm making stuff that I want to wear. And if okay. people fuck with it, then they fuck with it. Okay. I, don't, I don't think I'm going to release this and I need these sales. And do you know what I mean? I just thought... I'm gonna make garments that I think is cool as fuck. And if people wear it, then they wear it. Do you know what I mean? And luckily, like, do you know what you said about the Scottish thing? Like a lot of the sales have been from Scotland, which is so which is crazy. Do you know what I mean? So like that that's one of the things that is is really good to me. Like that the people were like from my sides are actually backing it and, and mm. they are wearing it. And it's sick, like obviously I'm seeing people tag me up in that, like like people from Scotland. I'm like, this is sick. That's mad. So yeah. obviously means that. Things are changing. Like yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, changing. that's what I'm saying. So people, people are obviously fucking with it heavy, and mm. I feel like, obviously, the I feel like now the whole London vibe is very on okay. point with my brand as well. Yeah. So yeah, I feel, yeah. I feel like a lot of people from these sides are gonna start wearing it as well. Yeah, that makes sense. And you know what? I'm quite happy you said that because it makes me happy that I've got people like you on the platform. I've mm. had another Scottish designer on the platform and obviously I want more people from other places and whatnot because it's good to hear how much, and I'm not attributing the change of Scottish fashion quality yeah, 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 to yeah, just yeah, YouTube. Yeah, 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 yeah. But no, the point I'm trying to make is like, you guys have obviously influenced that by being fashion forward and kind of dressing yeah. how you wanted to dress. And it's mm. mad that now that's becoming the drip there. Yeah, no, that's, that's the thing. That's like, crazy. Before like, I'd say maybe a good few years ago, no one would probably be wearing stuff like that. Mm. But then now, like a lot of people's just, they're, they're a lot more fashion forward, like you said. So other than obviously people like you with a brand like yours and the other people that I've mentioned, what sort of things do you think have caused that change? Is it music? I think or? it's music, bro. Okay. I think a lot of it's to do, don't to do with music and obviously football players as well. Like, so true. Yeah. Like obviously people seeing like, I don't know, like say Rashford or like people mm. like that, like that are, that are dressing well, like Jaden Sancho, a lot of these football players, like obviously football is fits as well. Like they're posting oh, up. Best page. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah, do you know what I mean? They're killing it. Um, I actually spoke to that guy a few times. Jordan, he's yeah, lovely, he's, isn't he? Yeah, he's a cool guy. Um, and like obviously they're posting all these football players that are, are wearing loads of drip. Mm. It's obviously people are gonna be like, I need to start wearing that, do you know what I mean? Mm. So. No, nah, this is way better. I, I like it because it, it shows me that there's an opportunity for brands like yours. Because as you yeah. said, people are looking to, like you're looking to like the LA-based brands and whatnot. Yeah. But eventually there'll be other brands like yours in London. So that's what, mate, that's that's what that's I want. That's the goal. That's what I want. I want, I want, I'd love if there was like more brands like mine mm. that I could just buy from. Like, <laughs> exactly. Do you know what I mean? I hate paying all these customs charges, but there are, obviously there's loads of cool brands from the UK as well. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? There's loads that I fuck with anyway, but mm. like, I do, I do feel like eventually it's gonna be there's gonna be more yeah. like my sort of style yeah, and, in the UK definitely. 100%. It's good. Obviously, we're recording early 2024, so we'll see. We'll, we'll look back at the end yeah, of the year yeah. and we'll see. Maybe it'll be two years away, but maybe at the end of the yeah. year we'll see. No, a hundred percent. I can I can guarantee it. There'll yeah. be more brands like that within the next couple of years. So do you know what, Jay? Remember you mentioned your wrist, and I said yeah. we're gonna go back to that. Now let's go back to when you broke your wrist yeah, or yeah. not. And you said that was the catalyst for you making. Is it your last lesson or last lesson? So the brands actually called last lesson but yeah. the, i couldn't get that instagram handle <sighs> so I, I used your last lesson and i've actually the actual on company's house it's your last lesson yeah so like so i, I like using both to be honest okay. I, I quite like having both yeah they both sound good to be fair yeah that's what i mean yeah, so obviously I, on, on clothes I, I use last lesson mostly yeah. but then like on some certain tees when i need like a bit of extra writing it's good yeah, to have that already, i can put the yeah, euro yeah, in there yeah, do you know what yeah, I mean? yeah it's true 30. so um yeah so then obviously you knew about fashion because of being a model and whatnot. Yeah, you knew yeah. about creative direction behind fits and whatnot. Yeah. Obviously you would have known about the importance of sizing and things like yeah. that. But in terms of actually starting your own brand, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you know what you needed to do? I, obviously, I, with working with a lot of our brands, I reached out to some of them as well. Asked for um, manufacturers, stuff like that. A lot of them just fucking just, just, just told me to bolt, do you know mm. what I mean? A lot of them just like didn't want to hear it. But then there was a good few that did help me. And um, obviously, I respect them a lot. And they, they, one of the guys that actually helped me—that's my manufacturer that I use now. Mm. Um, and yes, yeah, to be fair, I feel like that definitely helped me in a space where you could have just been clueless. Because even on Alibaba like, and stuff like that, I did go and look at all these, and it's just uh, there's about a million names you need yeah. to look through. Do you know what I mean? You need to be going through sample and sample. But um, obviously, because I got gave a few decent manufacturers, I just I had to sample like maybe three or four places, mm-hmm. and then I found like one that was like silly. Okay. And what was your? Because obviously, cool. That's a good answer. Because now I've gone from you having the loads of designs. Now you've got the manufacturer. Put your designs 
on the yeah, things yeah, you get yeah. from your manufacturer. So now you have pieces, right? Yeah. So after you've got the pieces, where do you go from there? So I've done the samples and um, I, I think I sampled maybe like 20 things or something like that. Everything came back and then obviously it was just narrowing down what I wanted to do for mm -hmm. the first collection. Jay, sorry to cut you actually. Yeah. What was the sampling process like? Oh yeah, it's, it's hectic to be fair. Like obviously, I, I think I sampled from like maybe four or five, three, four or five places and for like different, obviously each different garment. And when they're coming back, like just, some of them was just terrible, do you know what I mean? <laughs> and like just things all, like the logos in the wrong places, mm -hmm. the, the using like, like so obviously, Everything I wanted to use was screen printing. Sometimes they'll come back with it like heat pressed and it's like, you can, it's all scratchy and stuff like that. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Like there was just loads of different stuff that was just like, I was like, and it took me probably about six months of like sampling to, to get it. Every, all the gums mm. perfect to what I wanted and then I could release. Okay, so cool. So you've got, you've got something that's ready now. Yeah. Where did we go from there? And now you had, you had the name at this point. Yeah, 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 of course. Um, So obviously before, before I'd done the sampling, I had the name anyway, Um, but, yeah, so obviously when I got the stuff, then it was just, yeah, it was just literally just do the campaign. Mm. And then um, I think I re I, I'd done the campaign and I released about a week later. Okay, so, it, so Jay. Yeah. Because obviously because you've kind of been in this world, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like things are just like in your head, you get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, you'll yeah. be like, yeah, I just done a campaign. Do you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> so I'm thinking about myself actually. Yeah. And like the listeners, what goes into a quote unquote campaign? All right, so um, obviously you need to, figure out what model you want to use, mm -hmm. what the location is, the videographer, what style you're going to be like shooting the stuff, do you know what I mean? Mm. So for mine, I done it like, I use my mate Zach, he's shot for like Burberry, Stone Island, like Sick. some serious, serious um, You've brand. got a good network, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he, he shot for like load, loads of massive brands. Um, he done the campaign for me. He looked sick. Um, mm. uh, I done it and the first one I done in a studio and I just done it like sort of concrete vibes and then I used, uh, done some outside stuff as well. And it looked sick. Um, and to be fair, sold out within about, I think, four or five days, like everything was gone. Well, in your first drop, do you know how rare that is? Yeah, that's that's what I mean. It was it was crazy. Like I was, bro, I was buzzing, do you know what I mean? Because obviously when I, <laughs> when I first done the stuff, the first um, stuff that I dropped, everything was super loud as well. Like mm. I, 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 I didn't start like- Just the- like, Yeah, just yeah. Like, like, like everything was like the way it is now, do you know what I mean? Like the first drop that I done, just one of the designs in there, I changed mm. the color and I used it again and this recent drop, so like everything's like very the same. So I'll, obviously, when I was dropping, I was thinking, this like it could be a hit or a miss. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like I I don't know how it's gonna go. And then obviously when I started seeing Shopify pinging off, I was thinking, like, what? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was like buzzy. Was that rush? Was that rush like scoring a goal? Oh mate, that because you know they say you can't compare that to nothing. That last drop there, that was the best feeling I've ever had. In my life. <laughs> I, swear, I swear, I swear down. That one with, with the pink hoodies and that—that that was the best feeling I ever had, mate. Swear to God. I'm so happy for you. Man. Yeah, no, like that was that was literally I like, was like, like mind blown. Do you know what I mean? Mm. They, they, sold, they sold out in like I think three minutes or something like that, okay. and I was just like, Fucking but hell. that's another thing. Like, I just, and so can we just can we? I want to give context. Yeah. So when when did the brand officially launch? When um, was your first drop? May, last May. Last oh, year, yeah, yeah, last year. Obviously. So in less than a year, yeah, eight, you're already, eight months, eight you're already selling out in three minutes. Yeah, obviously now I just need to be doing more stock, really. Yeah. But obviously, don't I, rush I, it. Though, yeah, really. I don't, I don't want to rush it, and, and obviously I want to keep the supply and demand as well. So I want, I want to have it selling out, and then people can't get the gums, and they're like, mm. oh, I wish I had that. Do you know what I mean? So obviously that it's a good, it's a, it's trying to weigh up how much I would want to. Put onto the drop because obviously I'm still I'm still t getting a good amount of stuff and it's and it's selling out quick but mm. I just maybe need to up it slightly to, yeah because all you you scale because, incrementally in it yeah because the only the only thing that's a little bit annoying is because obviously for, so say for that last drop it like was weeks of obviously obviously the designs anyway took took ages but then weeks of like preparing stuff like that do you know what I mean for the campaign obviously we shot it in Paris so like everything like went mad quick and then just to sell out straight away I was like. Like it was done, do you know what I mean? I was like, <laughs> like what I do now, do you know what I mean? And I was obviously just starting on the summer stuff, but yeah, yeah, it's, it's been mad. Do you dog. know what, Jay? I've got um, two questions. So my first one is, my first, and I'll say the main one is, one, why do you think, so going back to your first drop or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Why do you think people like gravitated towards the brand so early on, number one? Yeah. And two, I've noticed with your brand, yeah, mm. there's a lot of like gothic imagery. So like yeah. the Grim Reaper, yeah, skulls, yeah. 
skeleton. Well, obviously, just because it's called Last Lesson, I just uh, I, I quite like the whole like. The, the Grim Reaper thing is obviously yeah. the last lesson that like, people say that's like the last the person that do you know okay, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So like that that obviously used that a lot, and then I don't know. I just I just like that style. I okay. just think it. I just think it looks cool. So like, there's nothing deep behind it. Nah, there's nothing nothing mad deep behind. It. I just I just think it looks, <laughs> it looks cool because it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just think it looks sick in it. Um, <laughs> but then, what what was the first question again? The first question is why do you think? Oh, why why people gravitate? gravitate? Yeah, so quickly. Um, obviously having like a half decent following helps do you know what i mean mm. um and i'm I'm so thankful for that because a lot and even like my mates like so many of my mates have supported, supported as well do you know what yeah. i mean um and i feel like that's that's a big thing as well like having like your team on your side do you know what i mean and, mm. and want to support it's it's massive but then obviously now seeing sales from like argentina and like <laughs> random places like that do you know what i mean it's just like well, it's all, it's, it's yeah, do, it's do, imagine man. you get a sell from Argentina, then you just see Messi in your in your um, and the it, big, the big crazy, bro. <laughs> That's what I mean. God crazy. Really, one day. And obviously, yeah, obviously, I've had like people supporting the brand as well, like mm. just like influencers and stuff like that that have that have gifted out and like yeah. whatever else, and it, that's obviously just pushed. It to a new, a new level. Yeah. So to be fair, that's what you're saying is is a good swag segue to one of the main questions I had, like, because obviously taking it back to the whole essence of the conversation really. And the main thing was me kind of trying to understand how you've been able to do X in so quick, so quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I'm just like, looking at your stuff, I'm just like, I know this is lit, but like the success man has in such a short space of time is yeah. mad. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. anyway, when I've had that thought process, one of the main questions I wanted to ask was, do you feel like your sort of profile, your personal brand yeah. was one of the main reasons as to why you've been able to do what you're doing right yeah. now? I would, say, I would say more so my career okay. and what I've done before has helped a lot with just, like I said, Every, everything that I know and then obviously yeah having having a bit of a following is obviously going to help because yeah. people are going to see it but then again like I, I said to you off camera I was like I feel like if I had a bigger following and like there was more reach I feel like st some of the stuff would have went crazy yeah. like some, some of the pieces that I've dropped like I feel like obviously I've designed them so I'm obviously <laughs> going to think that but like I do I do honestly think that they're crazy and I feel like mm. they, they could have got even more Shown or like, eat, like I don't know, like I've not had like really one like say TikTok right, and it's went mad viral yet. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I feel like once I have something like that, it, it'll put it'll put the brand in here because everything right now is just basically off my own profile and like people the, yeah. people like um, seeing it. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like once I have something that goes like viral on TikTok yeah. or whatever, I feel like and the masses see it, then I feel like mm. it, it will make the brand go do crazy. You know, do you know what, Jay? I think it's also important to mention, because even though I asked that question, I'm happy with the answer you gave, but I also want to say that a lot of people have had, quote unquote, bigger followings, yeah. started something, and it hasn't sold out. Yeah, yeah, So I also, and but, it hasn't necessarily done well, so yeah. I also want to big you up on the fact that, bro, you're creating lit shit. Yeah, and yeah. That, bottom line, yeah. that's the reason why your yeah, stuff yeah, yeah, is yeah. doing so well. Yeah, no, of course, because I feel like, obviously your friends would maybe help out for the first drop, and like people like they'd be like, oh yeah, yeah, I'll buy it. But if it's shit and the clothing's shit, and, <laughs> they're, and they, gonna they're, they're not gonna buy it again. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like everyone that's actually that's one thing I can say. Every single person that's bought from the brand has mm, basically come, come back. back, or they've said this is sick, or the, the, you know what I mean. That like it's all been good feedback. I, ain't, I don't think I've had one one bad feedback about mm. anything. So that's obviously that's good, man. Sick. So Jay, do you know what I find most interesting about what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. I think obviously the word brand is a big word. And yep. often when I speak to different designers, I make sure to kind of ask them, when do you think things became, when do you think it kind of quote unquote became a brand? And I feel like when you're first starting a brand, mm -hmm. it's more like a clothing line when you're selling like a series of pieces, you know what I'm saying? Yep. But then when you grow too, when you grow quickly, let me not say too quickly, but yeah, when yeah. you grow quickly, I think what can be difficult is doing the things that brands quote unquote have to do. Because yeah, yeah, obviously yeah. when you've got a brand, it's something you have to protect. So yeah, therefore yeah, yeah. you obviously have to think about things like customer service and stuff like yeah. that. So let's say you've got a clothing line and you're expecting to sell 10 pieces in your first drop or something, yeah? Oh, yeah. But then the demand is 500 pieces. So you end up getting more and selling 500. Yeah. From a customer service perspective, it's easier to treat those 10 people oh, yeah, correctly yeah, rather than the 500. Yeah. So this is quite verbose what I'm saying, but the question I'm trying to ask is, has there been challenges in that for yeah. you? So obviously just sending the stuff in itself is a mission, do you know what I mean? Because obviously I'm just doing it myself and 
my little brother or my mum or nice. my girlfriend. Do you nice. know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's like, right now it's in-house, do you know what I mean? But, mm. like, obviously, I feel like m probably by summer I'm, I'm going to need to start hiring people because it's, it's yeah, it's, it's, it was crazy. Like, that last one, uh, it, was, it was hectic, do you know mm. what I mean? But obviously, and as well, it's like, I can see why some brands, like, get pulled behind on some stuff. Do you know what I mean? That's what that's one thing that I, I wouldn't do is the pre-order thing though. Mm -hmm. It's because, because of that reason. Like, I feel like that can totally just diminish your brand. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Some brands do the pre-order and it's like, because the manufacturers, they, they'll tell you, oh, it'll be, say, six weeks. Mm -hmm. But then, like, I've had stuff where I've I've been planning to get it and, it and it don't come for even longer. Do you know what I mean? So if I had done that in a pre-order, then your customers are waiting mm. extra weeks for no reason. I feel like that. So I feel like... The, the way that I've done it as in just having everything there already. You've got the pieces, you've got exact amount that you know, if I sell this amount, I make this amount. If I sell this amount, that's how many I need to send out. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you're not shooting yourself in the foot really on needing to wait on yeah. um, manufacturers. Like they could be delayed with, with whatever, do you know exactly. what I mean? Exactly, certainly. So, so from the essence I got from what you're saying is that even just from a physical perspective, yeah. growing too quickly, going quickly can be quite difficult. Oh, oh mate, 100%. That is... It's hectic, and obviously, right now I'm basically obviously I've got help from family and whatever, but everything's basically a one man team. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. As in designing customer service, like I reply to every email that we get. Do you know what I mean about when stuff's getting delivered? Everything I do all that myself. I do all the posts on the Instagram myself. I take most of the content myself. Obviously, mm -hmm. I've got a videographer and stuff like that. But like choosing the models, everything like everything's kind of boiled down just to me. So I do feel like maybe soon I would I would yeah. start getting. Did, a lot did of people you, help with some stuff. Did you expect things to be like this right now? Because um, it's less than a year. Yeah. Uh, I did, to be honest. Serious? Yeah, no, I did. I did. Like, when, obviously, but I don't know. I just feel like when I, when I first started the brand, I thought, like, it's going to do well. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I, I, to be honest, I don't think I'd be selling out that quick. And I don't think it would maybe be going as good as it is right this minute. But I knew eventually, say, in a couple of years, Mm. It would be competing with some of the top brands. You know what I mean, and that's the way I still see it. Do you know what I mean? So mm. that's. Oh, I feel like that's the way you're going to need to look at everything though in life. Like, when anything I would do, I, I wouldn't be saying I'm going to do it to be half-hearted or yeah. be all right. At it, do you know what I mean? I want. I want to be, be the best. best. Yeah. yeah, facts, and that's a wavy mentality to yeah. have. And um, so, speaking on the point of brand building, there's a couple questions I've got. So, one thing I really like that you did, yeah, mm -hmm. was. Um, when you started doing like the hand painted stuff. Yeah. So am I correct in yes. saying that you did? Yeah. So you also <laughs> did like some tracker jacket, trucker type jackets, denim type yeah, jackets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The denim what jackets. Yeah. But then yeah. you also did this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The reason I bring it up is because obviously the first drop you did was what? The tees? Uh, the, no, the first drop, I did some hand painted stuff as well. Oh, is it in the first yeah, drop? Yeah, yeah, in the first drop, I done bleached um, denim jackets. That was in the first drop? Yeah. The, no, so there's two different ones. There was like a denim... Um, like blue denim one. Yeah, yeah, with the like, with the, the, the cream. white, the cream bleach. Yeah, yeah. That, that was the first drop. That was the first drop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that ruins my question. Because oh. I, I was about <laughs> yeah. to say. Then again, it kind of doesn't actually ruin my question because yeah, I can kind of rephrase it. But I was, I was gonna say that I like the fact that you've done more almost like conceptual stuff so early on. Yeah. Because most people, how they usually start is and. Other people on the podcast have said this. For example, the last episode we had, yeah. Mr. FP was telling how telling me so the fully paid owner. He was telling me how hats is hats was so simple hats with the fully yeah, paid yeah, logo yeah. was how they kind of made a lot of money to kind of then yeah, start to stay in there. You get it. Yeah. So the point I was trying to make was that you could have necessarily done just the graphic tees, made yeah. loads of those, and just yeah. kept doing that even till now yeah, in yeah, different yeah, exactly. colors. But yeah. you started experimenting with like all different types of stuff to a certain degree. Yeah. So what made you want to do that from so early on? Because I didn't want to be like a Instagram brand. You know what I mean? I want, when I first the first draw, I thought I want people to see this and be like, "This is fucking hard." Do you know what I mean? Like that's not just someone just doing a graphic tee. Like I've got bleached denim jackets. I had nylon track suits. I had. I had mohair in the first in drop. In the first drop? Yeah, in the first drop, I had mohair jumpers. Like, I had graphic tees. So I had, like, a full... It was a full collection, yeah. the first drop. Um, and then, yeah, obviously, what, when I'd done the, the hand-painted jackets, the first one, well, it was bleached, that, so it wasn't painted, that one. It was, like, I had bleached them all. Um, I thought, this is sick. Like, I, I loved that. Like, I loved actually mm. physically, like, making the stuff myself. And then, like, see, like so I, I sent that to... Do you know, do you watch basketball now? Um... I know basketball players. Rash, what, yeah, Rash loves basketball. So like basketball. Sc Scoot Henderson, he like he he got one of them. Do you know him now? Um, yeah, yeah. So uh, he, he's he's. Wait, way... how did he get? It? 
oh, just I oh, spoke to him on Instagram, sent him it, and yeah. like, obviously, like, do you know what I mean? Seeing people like wearing stuff like that, it's like it's crazy. It's do you know what I mean? And then yeah, obviously, um, then I done the the workwear jackets. Mm. I think I, I think that's probably the best thing I've done. You reckon? Yeah, yeah, I, man, I it's love that jacket, cold, bro. bro. So cold. Um, so I I, I done fifty of them mm. by myself. It took me about two weeks or something out, out my back garden at my mum's <laughs> house I didn't even do it in my gaff because it was stinking out <laughs> my flat because obviously I, I live in apartments and I was like I can't even do it in my, I needed to do it in my mum's in my mum's crib at the back so I was just I was just doing um, all them I done 50 of them mm. and I done all these as well so these are all just with a paintbrush and bleach done the full thing myself yeah so I've done these and tracky bottoms as well mm. and like one obviously doing that was Painful, Grueling. painful to be honest. Like, but I loved it. Do you know what I mean? But mm. like, I thought, when when I was doing it, I thought better off more than I could chew. Do you know <laughs> what I mean? Like, when I when I done the first ten, I was like, wow, like, this is gonna take forever. But then obviously, like, when people were seeing them and they was and I was getting the feedback and it was like, what you made this by yourself? I was like, yeah, it was like crazy. Do you know mm. what I mean? And like Nate Smalls, he wore he wore one of the workwear jackets. Sorry. He was he was loving it as well, and even the the bleached orange jumpers as well. They was. It was going old, yeah. yeah. Do you know what? Even after I've asked the question that I just asked, I kind of should have known the answer because what I'm like liking about what you're saying, Jay, is that so the reason why you kind of made a full collection for your first drop is because you already said you want to make what you would wear. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And you were literally making things that you would want to wear. Yeah, yeah, of course. Like I don't, I don't want to just make like a t-shirt, t-shirt, that... and then like just put a little logo on it. Do you know what I mean? Like. It's, it's dead. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I want to be making stuff that people are looking at. Go, what is that? Mm. Where did you get that? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And that's that's bro. That literally. You want to stand That out. is literally what happens when I see your brand, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's Appreciate even that. that's even a good segue to to another um, question I wanted to ask because obviously I saw that you got the hype beast feature yeah. not too long ago, wavy and. Bro, I'm buzzing with that. Which which one was it? It was brands to look out for in 2024. Yeah. Was it top brands five, top 10? UK brands. Yeah, yeah, UK brands yeah. to look out for in 2024. And you know, it's so interesting. It's, it's so interesting when a brand's new because you know when a brand is kind of almost just started, you kind of think, even though you may see it gets traction, you kind of think you're the only one that knows about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I saw that, I was like, hold on a minute. I yeah. was quite gassed because yeah, it made me feel like I'm like a, not tastemaker's a big word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the fact, the yeah, fact the fact that, that other people was talking yeah. it. Yeah. So but, anyway, big up you on that. Yeah. And like, what that. kind of, how did that moment feel and what does that kind of do for oh, the Last Lesson brand? Bro, I was buzzing, mate. Do you know what I mean? When I seen the notification mm. come through, it was like, hype beast. The tag, do you know what I think? I was like, the fuck's what? this? You know what I mean? I looked, I was like, bro, buzzing. Do you know what I mean? I was like, that's, it's the, it's got the right eyes on it then. Do you know what I mean? I was like, it, it, like you said, like, obviously in my head, sometimes I feel like it's just my followers mm. that see it. Do you know what I mean? And like, obviously when people are buying it from abroad and that, then obviously, but I just think they might follow me or whatever. Do you know what I mean? You don't know. And then obviously when, when I seen the daytime, I was like, it's sick that like, obviously people in the scene are starting to clock on it and, they, and they're noticing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it was, that was proper way. I was buzzing with that. And I think what was good about that as well, it wasn't even like the quote unquote Reporters at Hype Beast that are chosen, it was the people, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's, That's what, what I mean. Because it was, was so was amazing about it, yeah, because yeah, they made people vote for it, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because, pardon me, obviously, when you're starting a brand, a lot of people want a community, yeah. And at that point, prior to the Hype Beast feature, did you feel like you had a community? So, I feel like I've got definitely, I've got like people that like. So people be DM me every day mm. and like sending me photos and the and the gums and whatever and like every day, yeah, like, yeah, like most I'll, days, yeah. Mo most days, like people will, like obviously tag me on stories and stuff like that and like obviously I chat to people all the time and like it is it is sick to be fair like those people that have bought from every single drop I've done, mm. do you know what I mean? And like they're proper tap so in the community, yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. They're last listeners, yeah, <laughs> students, <laughs> students, yeah, that, that that's what I mean. So I, I need to like um I do I do want to start doing more um things. Like to make mm. a bigger community, like I've got, I've got a couple of sick ideas for summer. Obviously, with the Euros and that coming around, I'm gonna do like a couple mm. like similar stuff. Do you know, like obviously what Cartes and that do with the, with a couple activations. Yeah, like a couple activ. I'm definitely gonna do that, and I want to do one in Scotland first, just because obviously that's home. That's bro. home, and and there's support. And there's so many people supporting it, so I'm, I think I'm gonna do. I've got, I've got. I don't want to say it on this. No, don't, just, you don't need to. But um, yeah, I've got a sick little idea for for summer for. That's gonna be summer. Wait, Sc yeah, Scotland. Euros this yeah, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah so yeah. Yeah, I've, got, I've got a sick little idea. We've got Scotland. Yeah, I was happy when you lot qualified still. Yeah, I know. It's been a long time. <laughs> <laughs> but 
obviously yeah. Arsenal fan, Kieran Tierney. Do you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I like, yeah, I like Scotland. Yeah, but, no, um, good. Do you know what, Jay? From everything you're saying, bro, bro, how do you find the time for all of this? Oh, mate, it's it's hectic. I can't lie, it's hectic. Like, even like I've had to like put off a lot of my own stuff mm-hmm. to be honest to do stuff for the brand, but which I don't mind at all. Like, there's been jobs that I've not done just because I've I've had to like send orders or whatever. Mm. Do you know what I mean and stuff like that. But I'm I'm now focusing more of my time On to the, the to the brand rather than the my own stuff, and it's it's because it's just what I prefer. I just mm. I, I like it a lot more, but. Obviously, still need to to do the work. Do you know what I mean on both set, both ends? But yeah, it can get it gets hectic. But like I said, I, I think probably maybe by summertime I'll probably have someone, someone else. Yeah, someone yeah. else probably at least one, at brother. least one person. Like mm-hmm. uh, no, my little brother definitely. He probably he probably be the if first. The- yeah, he'll probably be the first person. Yeah. How old is he? He's he's t- twenty now. Okay, yes, yeah, so he's yeah. at that age. He's young. He's got the oh, energy. Oh, bro, he loves it. Yeah. And is he like a fashion guy like you? Yeah, yeah, bro, he's like. It's, it's so funny as well because like me and my little we've got different dads in it mm. so like me and my little brother like we look like completely different like <laughs> yeah. you, you, you wouldn't think we're related yeah. you know what I mean but every single thing about us is the exact same mm. like other like so he's, he's got like ginger hair and that he looks mm. proper Scottish <laughs> Yeah, but um, obviously, like every everything, everything like with, like don't they like music taste, fashion, everything like he's literally me, but just like in a mm. little. So yeah, he's the pro- he's literally the perfect. Yeah, person. little prodigy. Yeah, no, mm. yeah, he'd be perfect, bro. And he he does help me with like he used to work in like he used to work in flannels and that. So he, he was good at folding all the tees and that. Like, I, <laughs> see when we thought the first drop we done, I was trying to fold the tee. I was like, oh my god, can't do it. He was there like getting it perfect, putting them in the bags. So I was like, thank God, I've got you, bro. <laughs> Hey, Jay. I'm loving this conversation. <laughs> People are seeing your personality. Yeah, yeah. And Rash will tell you, every conversation I have, yeah, I always try to get the person in front of me to basically talk about how important their personal brand is to their yeah. actual brand. So I kind of want to get your your um, perspective on that because obviously, speaking of camera, yeah. you've modelled before, you've modelled mm-hmm. for other brands. So you've mentioned that... Um, Sometimes you don't necessarily want to be like almost too attached yeah, to your yeah, brand yeah, at the yeah, moment. Yeah. So how do you strike that balance between having a personal brand that positive, positively impacts your brand yeah. whilst also being further away enough so that people don't necessarily associate you yeah, with yeah, other yeah. brands yeah, that you yeah, modeled yeah, for? Yeah. Yeah. So for me, I do it as in like, obviously on my own page, I'm not, but I basically only, other than like some brand deals or whatever mm. that I have to do, it's basically just mostly all my stuff, do you know what I mean? Okay. Um, and I talk about it quite a lot on my stories, whatever. Um, but then on the brand page, I try not post myself too, too much because I don't want it to be like, I'm only using myself, do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So like, I try, I, obviously, if I've got a wavy pick in a minute, then it's getting <laughs> posted, do you know what I mean? But like, I try I try and use a lot of the, the other models and stuff like that. And that sort of um, thing, just because I, I don't want it to be like, I, I in a sense, like people maybe think it's like merch or like, do you know what I mean? They're like, do you know what I mean? Like, maybe like it's too, like you're too involved with it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But obviously, I just try and keep it as, as much as I can. Mm. You strike me as somebody that likes to learn from people. Yeah, yeah. Because obviously, you said, obviously, you was in the modeling world and everything you said just screamed, this is somebody that soaks up stuff, like, yeah, yeah. And has applied it in other stuff, yeah. Mm. So when it comes to like that personal brand element, has mm. there any has, is there any other designers that you kind of look to and like and you're like you know what I like the way this person kind of does it I like the way this person kind of does yeah, it well, or is this, do you just feel like this is naturally how you want to do it Yeah no well obviously the way Clint's done it with Cartier do you know mm-hmm. what I mean like people kind of see him and the brand on like people so, like to be fair I seen him before, before I seen the, the brand. brand do you know what I mean so like and then obviously seen it through him so it's like I feel like that's kind of a good way as well so, mm. so some people would maybe see me and then maybe fuck with me, the way I dress, whatever. And then like, obviously what you said actually, mm. like how I co- you come across me and then you've seen the brand and you be like, oh, it's his brand. You mm. know what I mean? So like, I feel like that obviously is a good thing as well because people people might just actually like you and then and then build away into liking the brand or else they might see the brand and be like, oh, that's sick. Mm. Then follow the owner. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like it kind of works hand in hand. Yeah. Really. So it's good. It's like, you, you kind of... T- the main thing I'm taking from this is like you kind of don't even really need to overthink it. Yeah, that's that's the way I try and do it. I try and just play it like post what you what you feel is good enough to be on a brand page. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Rather than like forcing posting 
your own stuff all the time on it. Do you mm. know what I mean? As a um, new brand owner, yeah, like... Can I take a studio? I'm pretty Yeah, you're hot, yeah. Up, yeah, because the, hood, the hoodie's good quality, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, bro, Roasting, bro. Broski's last <laughs> lesson now, though. Look, he made yeah, sure yeah. to have it on the... Nah, yeah, <laughs> Hey, this was all part of his plan. It's, it's nah. not hot in it. I got the AC on. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Hey, that tea's cold, though. Yeah, that's, that's in the next drop. Yeah, oh, so this is unreleased? Yeah, yeah, unreleased. Okay, unreleased. little sneak peek, yeah? Sneak peak. Exclusive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Exclusive. <laughs> yeah, this is gold. Yeah, it's sick, it's sick, it's sick. I like the, the kind of crop of it. and the Yeah, yeah, no, the fit's sick. I've brought you some as well. Oh, thanks so much. Yeah, but I, I, I should have mentioned, I don't know what size you'd be, so I'll bring a few different sizes. Okay, nice, whatever. and then we can choose. Yeah, yeah. Small, because I didn't even know what size I'm, but I might be a large. Yeah, yeah. Be definitely not small. Yeah. <laughs> I no, no, I, I, I should have I should have asked, but I just, I just flung a few no, bits in before I was leaving. Appreciate, appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Rash, what question was I asking? Yeah, sorry. So as a, um, as a new brand, yeah, and I'd use the word brand, so as something new that started, I feel like certain things force you to ask yourself certain questions. Yeah. So for example, obviously when you're first starting, like, let me speak about what we're doing, for example, when we first started Where's My TV, we were just putting stuff out and we didn't, we had an idea, but yeah. we didn't necessarily know where we wanted to be at X point. We only started thinking like that when things started to crystallise and we're like, you know what, this can be this. Yeah. So when you have a new brand, like mm. yourself, like, are you at the point already where you feel like I know where we want to be in the next five years or is the brand still too new? Um, so I, I try not put pressure on myself with saying like, I need this amount of followers, or I need this amount of sales, you know what I mean? I just try and do it like, I want to be making sick shit and selling it. Mm -hmm. Like that's that's just the way I'm seeing it. Like I just want to design loads of stuff. Like like I said, I've got, I've got design. I could probably not design now and still have to like, another two years collections, do you know what I mean? Mm. Something like that. Like I've got I've got a lot of stuff there already. So like I just wanna just continue to keep making stuff and then just choosing the best out of that and, mm. and just releasing it, hoping it goes well and then just keep building from there. Like like I said with with the whole like obviously one thing I do wanna get I wanna I wanna get the brand page to like a certain amount of followers. I wanna get do you know what I mean? Obviously yeah. I, I've got stuff in mind that I want to I wanna get to, but I, I don't put pressure on myself to like good, need to have it by this certain time, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I feel like a lot of brands that like, shoot themselves in the foot with stuff like this as well because they'll buy like fake followers or whatever to try and like have their quote unquote image, do you know what I mean? And then their engagement's dead and they've got 200k followers, they're getting 100 likes. likes yeah. Do you know what I mean? And it's like, it just looks stupid. Whereas like right now I've got 5k on, on Insta. Mm. But it's it's getting good engagement, it's getting good sales, and obviously it's just going to continue it's to grow. Organic growth. Yeah, it's organic. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. I'd, I'd rather just do it that way, really. Yeah, no, I like hearing that, man. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, you don't have to have all the answers already, anyway. Yeah, that's you know what, what I'm mean, saying. Yeah. And obviously, in my head, I've got, I've got, I've got obviously plans of where I want it yeah. to be. Like obviously, um, so I don't even. Yeah. You don't it. know if you can say it. No, yeah, no. Don't I, have I, to, I, it's up to you. No, yeah, no, so obviously this this is a collab with um uh it's basically have you heard of Exceed now? What's that? It's like the, the like the footwear um department and uh, Harvey Nicks. Oh sick! So like this is going in there. So I feel Congrats, like that's man. Yeah, so they, they, Harvey Nicks already. Yeah, so they'll do they'll do they'll do two they're doing two T's. Um, like exclusive to like there and their store in Glasgow as well. Big up UJ man. In. So I feel like that, like stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? That'll help. With, like just people seeing it and that sort of place. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, perception. It's gonna it's gonna help a lot as well, and it's gonna obviously gain from like, that, that, that as well. Wavy, you could not have expected that because I know no, you knew, no, no. but that come on, mate. Yeah, no, no, no. That, obviously, in a couple months. <laughs> yeah, no, that's what I mean. Stuff like that's like it's, but that to be fair, that came. That came just before the hype beast thing as well. Like it was in talks, mm. and then that hype beast thing come out, and, and he like, was like, "Yeah, yeah, but boom." Do you know what I mean? Like, so I feel like it's a lot happening, of, a lot of motion, yeah. man. Yeah, I feel like this conversation has happened at the perfect time, you know. Yeah, yeah. Because so, and I, like, I'm happy I got you now, man. Because your price is going up, bro. Yeah, no, no. I definitely, I feel like it's it's at the start. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm. I feel like it will eventually. Like, like maybe we'll do one again in next no, two, we, two years no, or something. And no, we'll honestly, way, we'll Jay, way more. I'm happy. You, I'm happy you said that because you've obviously probably heard me mention to other people like this is the first convo we'll have. Like yeah, yeah, you're gonna like, go on to do incredible things within fashion. Like for example, when you do maybe your first show or something, yeah, so yeah, show yeah, in Paris yeah. or something. That's another huge thing that we yeah, can talk yeah, yeah, about. Yeah, exactly. Then, bro, the, the possibilities are endless, fam. Yeah, no, nah. I'm buzzing for it, mate. To be honest, that's what I love about this shit, man. Yeah. Like 
And that's why I'm so happy I got you on at this point because, bro, it's so good to see somebody that's just designing what they want and in such a short space of time, they're bearing the fruits of it. And speaking of bearing the fruits, I'm happy I mentioned that because the, the amount of fruit you're bearing, Jay, is because mm. of the effort you're putting in. Yeah. Because obviously this I appreciate is, that. No, it's, I have to good. let you know. No, I like that people like notice as well. Yeah, you know I mean? but I know it's obviously yeah. the way I look at this stuff is from, I'm not necessarily looking at it as a buyer. I'm yeah, always yeah. looking at it as like a researcher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you get yeah. what I'm Sick. saying? Sick. So I'm clocking. That's why I mentioned the point about the, the you doing the, the dying stuff early yeah, doors. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, broski, most people don't do that. Yeah, they yeah, make yeah, a t-shirt, exactly. they make a hoodie, they make a hat and they sell those. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. get it? Mm -hmm. Whereas you're putting it mad. Get it like big yeah, up yeah. you, man. So it's bearing the fruit. Yeah, no, it was, it was hectic. It's, it is hectic, like, but obviously it's it's what it's one of the things that I love it now. So mm -hmm. I'm just like, and when you see the results from it as well, that's another thing. Like yeah. maybe see like if I'd, I obviously I would have kept going regardless anyway, but like see seeing the results firsthand, like I'm like mm -hmm. fuck you know, like people are actually messing with us heavy. So I need to just I need to just stick mm -hmm. on it and just keep, that keeps keep you going. going. Yeah, hundred percent. Like obviously, like I said to you with that last drop, that was like genuinely one of the best feelings ever. My little brother always texts me like, what the fuck is going <laughs> on? Like, cause he's obviously, he's logged in on his phone as well. He was texting me like, he was texting me going, bro, what the fuck is happening? And I was like, wow, like, this is this is mad. So, no, I just can't get over the fact you said that was the best feeling ever. No, it was, trust me. Like, like obviously, I don't know, but I've obviously had other things that's good in it, but like that, 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 that was, that was, that was up there. Do you know what I mean? That was up there, bro. That was, that was crazy. Oh my days, it's so <laughs> funny because you were both thinking the same yeah, thing. No, like, yeah, I know, yeah. Also had other shit, do you know what I mean? But yeah. No, no that's it's, too it was, lit. That is sick. too lit. Oh, what was I going to say? I had a good question to ask as well. Sorry, because I'm laughing Luckily so much. I I had a kid or something and I said that. Huh? Luckily, I ain't had a kid or something and I said that. <laughs> was the best. I mean. Wait, you can say that until you've had one. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Don't worry, don't worry. But, um, oh, bro, I had such a good question to ask, but I keep laughing, man. I've got to be serious. <laughs> Let me compose myself. Yes. I always remember, man. It's such a good trait of mine. But um, pricing. Yeah. That's what I want to ask about. Yeah. Like when you first start a brand, I think it's really difficult to kind of, and I even saw one of my bedrooms, um, Galinacci, we've had him on a podcast today. Yeah. So you've had him on a podcast before, big him up. Um, somebody had asked him that, like another designer. Yeah. Because you know when people do the Instagram thing, ask me anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So somebody said, yeah, how do you price? And I think that's such a big question. Yeah. Especially for you, obviously a new brand, you're getting all this traction. Yeah. It's like, can a t-shirt go from, I, I don't know how much you were selling them before, but can it go from 30 quid to 80 quid so in the I, space of months? Yeah, so you know what I mean? I started mine at 65 okay. and, I've, and I've kept it at that price. But like I said, like obviously I, I'm I'm trying to keep it at that at the minute, but like obviously when the, there is a lot of other brands that are selling for, like, do you know what I mean? Like represent whatever, they're, they're selling for I think like 150 mm. something quid for a t-shirt now. So, so, but then again, they was like, they was about 70 quid like two years ago. Damn, so it's good. You know I mean? like they, they've, they've like doubled like quick. So obviously I could never say never, but right now I'm trying to keep it. I want to keep it like the best quality that I can do for like the best price. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I, I still want it to be premium. Like I, I wouldn't want to sell it like cheap and people think it's like not good. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like I, I, right now I feel like it's at a pretty mid price point that like people can afford it and it's the same quality as like mm. a t-shirt that would be 150 quid. Sick. You know what I mean? So like, I'm trying to do that. Obviously the, the like the stuff that I do hand painted, I feel like that I probably should have put maybe a little bit higher because <laughs> the, the time that it took, but I, I didn't want to like outprice myself. Do you know mm. what I mean? So like, I just sold that at like basically kind of similar to what it would be normally. Okay. But it's one of them things. Obviously, they sold out and it, it all went amazing. But yeah. someone did actually say that to me. He was like, "It's too cheap." Yeah. So someone actually did say that to me. <laughs> one of the guys, but it was that hoodie that I was wearing before. He was like, "He's like, I can't believe you sold it at that price." I was like, oh, "I don't know." <laughs> I was like, "But I, I, I like the fact that like people can afford it, and when they get it, they're like, I've got my money's worth here." Yes. Do you know what I mean? Because like, that's what keeps them coming. Yeah, back, that's man. what I'm saying. So like, and obviously, like, to be honest, I'm not doing it to like make low. Like, obviously, you need to make money, but like, I'm not doing it to like fucking try and like mm. whatever I'm, I'm just i'm doing it for like the fact that i actually really like it and obviously i just want to keep building and building and eventually mm. obviously if you're selling certain amount at whatever price you're still going to be in the same position do you facts, know what I mean? facts facts to me it just seems like you just you just want to make lit stuff yeah that, that's literally it like i just i just want to continue like I, I would like to be able to just there's nothing else in my wardrobe mm. just all my cool brand stuff 
I'd, I'd love that. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Obviously, I do like buying from other brands as well because I like buying and like seeing the feel, stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? But mm. like more time, I'm 90% in my own brand. Do you know what I mean? Mm. That's what you want long term. Yeah. You mentioned, obviously, you've mentioned a brand like Represent or whatever. You mentioned a brand like Cortez. Like, as it's still early, do you kind of know where you want your brand to be positioned in relation to other brands? Like, um, when people think about Represent, for example, do you want them to also think about your brand or? Um, I wouldn't say Represent. I feel like they are different. They do different they, stuff. They, yeah. Well, yes and no. Do you know what I mean? Yes mm -hmm. and no, because I feel like. The still streetwear, so like obviously in that category, yes, but and the type of garments that I make, I feel like it's a, it's it's different. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? But obviously they do make some stuff similar, so I feel like they they've absolutely killed it though. So it. they've absolutely like done wonders. So like obviously if I could be next to them in the next mm. however many years, then I'd like it. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? But yeah, like as in brand positioning, as in what people think of, then maybe not. And speaking of brand position, so going back to the, to the Harvey Nicks thing, like, what were the sort of questions you asked yourself when you got that approach? Um, obviously, I, I was just going back and forth really with like um, designs and like showing, like, because they took two tees that's like only you can only get there. Mm -hmm. So they are in the store in Glasgow. So it's like, um, like I was just showing them basically designs that I already had. No, but I mean in terms of, obviously speaking about perception, oh. stockist, for example. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are, So, and you're in two, you said you're in two other stockists already in, yeah, 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 in yeah. Scotland right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so when it comes to knowing where you want your brand to be positioned and how you want it to be perceived, yeah. stockists are obviously a huge part of that. Yeah. How do you kind of discern where you want your clothes to be? Oh, well, obviously I would only put them in places that I would actually shop. Do you know what I mean? And the, the places that they're in at the minute is like, like they sell like Supreme Cartes, mm. like all the all the big brands, all the resale shoes. Do you know what I mean? So it's like it's in there with like stuff that's like five six hundred quid a grand. Mm. Like the the shorts are like next to like Eric Emanuel and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? Ones that are like similar, but like maybe mine's is like obviously the Scottish version. Do you mm. know what I mean? So like people are seeing it and they're going in there like say maybe they did want Eric Emanuel shorts and they look at them and they're like. 160 quid or something mm. and then they look at mine and they're 60 they're like I'm getting them do you know yeah. what I mean and they've, they obviously sometimes think these are better do you know what I mean facts so yeah I feel like it, de it definitely helps like I've gained a lot of people f like knowing the brand through being in them shops mm. just because they've been in there shopping seen it and be like what's this it's hard do you know what I mean and then hit me up and like sometimes people don't even know it's my brand and then, then they found out it was like through me, like through speaking to the people in the shop. Or what, so that. has there been points where, I don't know, people have sent you this, like, oh, it's one of your top son, like, yo, this is cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mate, it happened the other day. <laughs> one, of my, one of my mates, we was at, we was at a DJ concert, mm. um, we was at a rave, and um, so, like one of my mates was wearing one of my hoodies, mm. and this guy came, <laughs> just came up and he's like, yo, that's hard. Like, mm. But it was one of my mates, mm. and he was like, that's, that's hard, that hoodie. He was like, where'd, where'd you get it from? To one of my other mates. And I was like, it's mine, what are you on about? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, what? No way. And then like, he didn't even know. Do you know what I mean? But obviously, I, I kind of just became part, like mates with this guy. But that like, yeah. But still, I, I still thought like you fucking should know. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Hey, that um, I'm happy you said the thing about the DJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that reminded me a question I had. Because I see a post you put up where you said how um, one somebody a, a DJ that you you follow, you yeah, like, yeah, 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 was wearing your garments or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that made me think like, is that something that, passionate isn't the word, but is that something you think helps a brand when it's almost like attached to a certain type of culture or, yeah, cause yeah, the DJ was like, oh, yeah, did you get an IB for like, yeah, yeah, was it a house yeah, DJ? Yeah, 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 yeah. So like, obviously it, it was a guy called Max Dean who's popping at the minute. He's probably one of the, like, the, the biggest Big DJs one, yeah. from the UK at the minute, definitely. Um, he's got a few tunes going crazy. Um, so obviously he, he wore it and he's, he's wore it quite a few times now. And obviously like, just people seeing him in it. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people that will go to like raves or whatever and like go to Ibiza and like Ibiza is, I feel like Ibiza is quite good for my gums, do you know what I mean? Because they're, they're quite loud, they're quite vibrant, stuff like that, do you know what I mean? So good, for, feel, uh, good yeah, for summer. Good for summer, do you know what I mean? So a lot of people like it out there and I feel like it definitely helped with, with him wearing it because then now loads of other DJs mm. have, have been, have been oh, getting on as well, do you yeah. know what I mean? So I feel like it's, it's, it's a good lane as well because obviously for me, I love rap as well, do you know what I mean? So having like rappers in it was kind of like one of my aims do you know what i mean so then having like another little 
side quest that like mm. they, like with the DJs, it's, it's a good thing as well. Do you know what I mean? And that's wavy because they're like in that world, they are the biggest influence. That's what I mean. Yeah. So it's like maybe someone that does not like house mm. or like techno, or whatever. They won't they won't have a clue who he is, but uh, whoever they are wearing it. But like the people that's in it, will be like, oh yeah, I want to get it because he's wearing. It. Do you know what I mean? It, yeah, so yeah, when it's yeah. the same thing with the rappers that people might not be in it. So it's good to have like a yeah, different yeah, yeah. variety of people. That's a good. I that's think that's gonna a, influence. Facts. I think that's a really major key for the people listening. Like, I think when one's starting a brand, like people should think about what they're passionate about, yeah. and then almost think about what kind of subcultures are attached to that. Yeah, exactly. Do you know what that's I'm saying? Obviously, yeah. I lived in Ibiza. I, I, went to raves for that's, years, that's a full I mean? circle moment yeah, so for like, you bro. yeah that's what I mean so but obviously I'm mad into like rap as well and hip hop so it's like having both it's good mm. mm -hmm. bloody hell man hey Rash how long have we been talking for oh done. fuck it up so now I've nearly doubled it you know yeah. what Jay me and you could go on forever you know yeah no. <laughs> <laughs> you got energy I like it um, so obviously although you haven't been running the brand for too long yeah because things have been quick I feel like you would have had to learn a lot fast yeah. So over the short amount of time where you, you know, started designing and you released the brand, what would you say are the main things that you've learned so far? Um, like... About uh, business, about running the brand, about just oh, anything. Well, keep doing what you want to do. And in, in my opinion, like, because I feel like there's been some times where like, I, I know for a fact I could have maybe just dropped something that like would quote unquote just sell quick. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I, I, I want to keep the brand like... Give me, the, give me an example. Like you said, like just like maybe a plain t shirt, but just like, do you know what I mean? That like maybe could just go quick, do you know what I mean? But I, I want to keep it direction for the, the brand and, and the same in the same wavelength. Um, and then obviously with business and stuff like that, obviously that's just a whole nother thing, do you know what I mean? Like, um, obviously, like I had to like set up a obviously brand account, whatever, blah, 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 do you know what I mean? Um, and then obviously now you need to do taxes for your own account, taxes for the, the brand account. Obviously, like, obviously, just even just, like, down to, like, paying everyone, do you know what I mean? Like, there's, mm. a, there's a lot of things that go in it, do you know what I mean? And having it all on, on your head, it's, like, it's is, it is a bit, a lot of pressure. But um, it's one of them things, I think, you just need to take the step with it and then you just learn along the way. Like, there's mm. obviously things I don't have a clue about and then you, you eventually, along the way, you pick up, right, okay, sweet with this. Do it this way. You know what I mean? I'm so happy you answered it like that. You know, where he was like, you just kind of have to learn along the way. Because yeah. I think that's something that stops people from starting a lot of things where yeah, yeah, they yeah. hear about the things that happen and it's happened once you start. And it's almost like they try to prepare themselves for that. Yeah, and I'm not yeah, saying you yeah, quote unquote yeah, yeah, shouldn't, yeah. but one of my main sort of quotes is once pr preparation becomes procrastination, yeah. that's when you know you need to start. Do you get it? Yeah. If you're constantly fixating on, oh, but this could happen, so I need to research this and da 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 da. Yeah, and then yeah, all of yeah, a sudden, yeah, yeah. you're two years down the line from when you said you would start and you haven't but started. But you didn't do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's exactly. like, bro, now just get out there and yeah, yeah, yeah. learn, just fail it. fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I think, that's the, I think that's the best way to go at it. Like, just, like, literally, if you try something and it fails, it's only going to fail when you stop. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? So, like, if you, if you just continue to try, like, obviously, there's going to be people that will start a brand and maybe the first collection doesn't go as well mm. as what mine did. But don't just stop because of that, because it didn't do well the first time, do you know what I mean? Just do another collection, tweak something, think what did people like out of that, and then maybe do more of that thing, do you know what I mean? So just, I feel like, yeah, you just need to, you just need to keep keep going at it, really. Yeah, facts. And do you feel like you're at the point, obviously you've, you've done, what, what collection would you say on now, third? Yes, going into the fourth. Going into, going the, fourth into the fourth. So are you at the point where you feel like you kind of know what your current customer base likes? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I would say so. Um, Is it? Do you feel like it's normal to be at that point by now or um, that's an anomaly? I, well, I don't know because obviously a lot of brands change their style quite a lot. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like they go through different things and obviously I will, I will definitely add certain things into the brand and maybe take some things away. Do you know what I mean? Obviously... It, that happens in fashion, mm. do you know what I mean? But um, I know what my style is, and like like I said, I'm creating stuff that I I want to wear. So I'm like obviously the summer collection that I've just designed, well, just got sampled. Um, obviously when all that's come through, I'm just I'm looking at it, I'm like, that's it's like exactly what I would want. Wow. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like, yeah, I think you just need to just keep going at it, really. Mm. Mm. So I'm going to start rounding off, but yeah. um, mainly, first of all, Jay, thanks so much, bro. No, good, bro. Because obviously you haven't done any podcasts before, and I'm mm. happy that 
this you're on a podcast that you listen to. Yeah, exactly. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So now you can go back and watch this with your mates or whatever. Yeah, yeah, like, exactly. Wavy man, and you're sharing your story with us, man. I appreciate that a lot. No, man. Appreciate it. Well. So I just wanted to ask. I got two more questions. My first yep. one is, um, what can we expect from last lesson going forward? Yep. So go on. So moving forward, obviously, just continuing make set arms. Um, we're doing, like I said, a couple of activations this year. Um, obviously, got the thing we mentioned earlier about in the stores and stuff like that and then obviously i'm doing i'm doing a couple of campaigns abroad again as well to be fair every all the other than the first one all the campaigns have been abroad as well mm. that's that's something that we didn't really mention but i've tried to do that with a brand as and just to like stand out do you know what i mean as well so like it works man the set so the second shoot we ever done was in ibiza and i went there with all my best mates got a villa like just done it fully just absolutely setting the rails off it do you mm. know what i mean like to be fair was it quote unquote the most professional because we was going out and then yeah. doing this stuff? Do you know what I mean? But <laughs> we was get we was getting all the work done. Like I think the, so we had the, we had a three day shoot and on the the third day I had a a boat booked. Mm. We went out. We stayed at the full night. <laughs> we went we went straight to the boat the next day. Right, like even the, even the, my mate the model as well. Do you know what I mean? And like obviously, but all the shots looked like so good. Do you know what I mean? Like it was dead natural. Do you know what I mean? It was just obviously all, all of us just on the boat. Just it was it was proper good. Do you know what I mean? Um, but I feel like stuff like that like you need to do as well. Do you know what I mean? Like just like have Live. fun with it. Have fun with it. Do you know what I mean? Like obviously we was in Ibiza, all young, just like they are just actually buzzing. But they are mm. doing a photo shoot for like my brand. Do you know what I mean? With all my mates, I was like, yeah, fuck it. Of course we're gonna. Do you know mm, what I mean? Mm. Like oh uh, yeah, it was sick. Um, and then yeah, so I'm gonna continue. I, 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 love doing the, the shoots that's like one of the, the main things i love mm -hmm. doing um obviously just continue to design and just continue to hopefully make some sick stuff and like i say grow like that's that's probably the main thing i, I want to continue to grow and um break a bit more into the probably like i said the london scene yeah um and then obviously like maybe into the european scene as well i feel like and obviously america i'm going to um la in march as well so nice. hopefully i want to I want to try and make some waves when I'm over there and do 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 some stuff with like some cool people in America as well. So I think I think that's I've I've spoke to a couple of people that I'm gonna link up with it there. So I feel yeah. like that that should be good. No wavy J man, I believe in you and I'm excited for you man. Appreciate Seeing the that, energy brother. you have man, I can see you got so much energy to put into this. Yeah, and it's gonna pay off man. I appreciate like, that bro. The level your effort of putting in, just keep putting that effort, and it's like bro, the world is your oyster, bro. Yeah. And I was gonna say as you was talking, I was like. Bro, as much as you do the TikTok, which is wavy, yeah, bro, you yeah. need to document this stuff separately, you know? Yeah, no, mate, do you know what? I, that is another thing that I, mm. I need to do this for the YouTube because I feel like, like I said, about say that shooting Ibiza, like, mm. if we had that on YouTube, like Viral. just that, that, that would just, that would be something sick that people would want to watch, yeah. you know what I mean? Like behind the brand, I do need to do that. But it's just uh, obviously- The time. Have, having a videographer that can, that can be there all the time. Like mm. even like, don't they like, I've obviously, the TikToks is sweet in that, like just video and stuff myself, but I do want to eventually have Never someone not. that can actually, like obviously when I'm making the gums, do you know what I mean? Designing, mm. when, I, when I'm doing the, like the DIY sort of stuff, like having someone there to like actually video the food. If someone videoed that two weeks of me in my back garden, <laughs> like people would be like, be reality TV show. People would be like, yeah, but you, you can charge a bit more for that. Do you know what I mean? Like, but um, yeah, I feel like I, that's something that I do want to do. I want to do the YouTube um, and have like a bit of behind the brand. And then people can actually, obviously, like you said, like see the personality mm. bit of me a bit more as well. Because like, you're a likeable guy. I can't yeah, lie, yeah, no, I appreciate cool that, bro. Um, nah, yeah, I, I, I think that's something that I'm going to try and do more for 2024. Yeah, yeah, Raven, man, I hope to see it, man. Because I can't lie, that IB for content would have been gold. Bro. Yeah, I know, like, mate, honestly. I actually wish so much. Because mm. the thing is, we had the videographer there, but... Um, he doesn't drink or he doesn't go out or anything. So mm. he was just in the house editing because oh. we were shoot. Obviously, we were shooting yeah, yeah, for the yeah. f few days. So he was just in the in the house uh, in the villa, just editing and stuff mm. like that. And I was saying to him, I was like, "Come out of it." Obviously, he, he doesn't. He's, he's, he's quiet. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah, so he, yeah. he wasn't really on it. But I think for the next, so he did actually say to me, he said he regretted not because he he didn't even go to the pool or anything when yeah. he was there. He was <laughs> like, boy, he's like he's, he's, he's one of my focused. really he's one of my really good mates. He's mm. he's super focused on yeah. on work. Do you know what I mean? So like. We was there just diving in the pool, doing whatever. Yeah. He was just, he was just non-stop just editing. But moment. he did say to me, like, um, when we went to Paris, he was like, "I'm gonna try and enjoy myself a bit more this time." So I feel like for the next, the next campaign, is he going to late? Is he going to late with you? No, no, no. At least, just, it's just like a holiday for me. Okay. But um, he's he's gonna come in the next trip abroad. So I'm gonna make sure he goes in the pool at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that's gonna be rainy, man. I'm excited yeah. for that. But obviously, Jay, as I said, thank you so much. But you know, our last question is. Yep. So you know what the last question is. Um, what would be your one main piece of advice to the next generation of 
anyone that wants to get into fashion really or up and coming designers however you want to internalize that um i would say just don't let anyone get in your head like obviously when i with even with the with the modern stuff even with the fashion stuff like everything that i've kind of done in life there's always been people that be like get a real job or do you do you know what I mean? Like, mm. wh- why why you want to do that? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, there's negative people that, that are out there, and I've never ever let that get to me. I've always just said to myself, like, yo, if, if I can see myself doing it, then I'm gonna do it. Do you know what mm. I mean? And I feel like just don't let someone get in your head and, and try and tell you you can't do something. That if you think you can do it, do it. Do you know what I mean? And um, obviously just be out there if you if you want to make anything like anything you want to do in life, just do it to your fullest. And I feel like it's gonna obviously hopefully go the best you know mm, what I mean simple yeah Jay thank you so yeah, much appreciate brother. it brother thank you so much thank you mate Broski I Bye would you. reach over and try to shake your hand yeah. but we'll just do a bluetooth thing because yeah, yeah. it was hard last time <laughs> <laughs> but honestly bro thank you so much for this conversation it, I loved it Rash I know you enjoyed this one as well and you see yeah. the bits where we was all laughing and Jay stood yeah. up and took off his jacket and yeah. that, and keep that in you know that was yeah, no, I think that would be good <laughs> that was yeah, funny yeah, still but um, yeah Jay if you could just look at that camera yeah. tell them where to find you tell them where to find the brand yeah so thanks for having me on, guys. Um, you can catch me on my own personal page, J Monroe Twenty Six, and the brand page, Your Last Lesson, and hopefully seeing you all um, copping for twenty twenty four. So perfect. <laughs> yeah, that, that might be the best one we've had so far. You know, <laughs> even the fact you said thank you, thank you for that, mate. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers, but um, obviously, I'm gonna do mine a bit different today. Actually, recently I've been getting gifted some stuff, so I, I, I'm gonna make sure to try and wear it on. Um, the podcast and whatnot. I might be so wearing yeah, my life. Yeah, yeah, next, <laughs> next episode. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to shout out my guy Link. That's my brother. He's got his own brand, um, 4QS. Um, it's an incredible brand. It's based on like basketball culture. It's got a powerful meaning behind it. So make sure you check that out. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you so much for listening. And as I always say, keep it locked. Thank you for watching another episode of Where's My Podcast. If you ever want to take in future episodes on the go, you can find us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Whilst you're there, please leave us a five-star review. It would really help. And also, don't forget to follow us on our Instagram, WMTV underscore LDN, to keep up to date with the latest goings-on in UK fashion. Keep it locked.